In this video, we want to look at a bunch of example problems dealing with Newton's first and second law. I would recommend with each of these problems that you look at the problem, solve it yourself while pausing the video, and then press play and compare that to my answer. This first problem, what is the weight of a 1.8 kilogram computer? Now we remember weight, we have the equation F net equals MA. And from that, we can get the equation weight equals mass times acceleration due to gravity. So force of gravity is mass times acceleration due to gravity. So the force of gravity will be 1.8 times acceleration due to gravity, 9.81. comes out to 17.66 newtons. What is the mass of a 410 newton crate? So once again, force of gravity equals mass times acceleration due to gravity. So 410 equals mass times 9.81 the mass would be 410 divided by 9.81, which comes out to 41.8 kilograms. An astronaut has a mass of 90 kilograms. Calculate his weight on Earth. State his mass and weight on the moon. So on the Earth, F of G equals MG. So F of G equals 90 times 9.81. His weight on the Earth is 882.9 Newtons. On the Moon, Mass does not change based on location, so his mass will still be 90 kilograms. His weight will be 90 times 1.6, which comes out to 144 newtons. So he lost went from 883 newtons down to 144 newtons by going to the moon. A really complicated, but really effective weight loss plan. The surface of Mars, gravity is 3.8 meters per second squared. A robot weighs 150 newtons on the surface of Mars. Find its mass on Mars, and its mass and weight on Earth. So on Mars, F of G equals MG. 150 equals mass times 3.8. Mass equals 150 divided by 3.8. Comes out to 39.47 kilograms. On the Earth, Well, let's do F of G equals MG. The mass is still 39.47 kilograms. Does not change. So the weight would be 39.47 times 9.81. Comes out to 387.2 newtons. A 5.1 kilogram scooter moves with a constant acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. Determine the net applied force for this acceleration. Now we're going to look at straight Newton's second law. F net equals 5.1 times 3.0. F net comes out to 15.3 Newtons. 
The net horizontal force of 8.2 newtons is applied to a baby carriage whose mass is 11.5 kilograms. What acceleration is produced? F net equals ma. 8.2 equals 11.5 a. A comes out to 0.713 meters per second squared. Bus travels at a constant acceleration of 3.7 meters per second squared. Find the mass of the bus if 8,150 newton net force is required to produce this acceleration. F net equals MA. 8150 equals m times 3.7. Mass of the bus here is 2,203 newtons. Now we'll get into slightly more complicated problems. What average net force is required to stop a 1950 kilogram car? in 10.5 seconds if it's initially traveling at 28 meters per second. So in this case, I'm going to write out my variables since it's getting a little bit more complicated. 1950 kilograms. Time is 10.5 seconds. Initial velocity is 28 meters per second. Final velocity is stopping, so zero meters per second. And I'm looking for force. To do this, I need, I know F net equals MA, so I need A. To find A, I'm going to use V final equals V initial plus AT. Zero equals 28 plus A times 10.5. So negative 28 equals A times 10.5. Which means A comes out to negative 2.67 meters per second squared. And that should be negative because it's slowing the object down. So now I can do F net equals MA. F net equals 1950 times negative 2.67. comes out to negative 2,000, or 5,000, 206.5 newtons. Negative 5,206.5 newtons. What average net force is required to accelerate a 375 kilogram motorcycle initially at rest to a speed of 22.5.5 meters per second over a distance of 174 meters? So I have a mass, 375 kilograms. I have an initial velocity of zero. I have a final velocity of 25.5 meters per second. I have a displacement of 174 meters. And I'm looking for force. So I need to find acceleration first. In this case, the easiest thing to use would be Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2A delta x. 25.5 squared equals 0 squared plus 2 times A times 174. So I get 650.25. equals 348A I get 1.87 meters per second squared. One final problem. If you push a 10 kilogram crate with a 300 newton force and there's 150 newtons of friction, what is the acceleration of the crate? And then a couple of other questions after that. So let's look at this crate. We have 300 newtons going one way. Friction will always go the opposite way. So in this case, the net force is going to be 
150 newtons to the right. So F net equals MA 150 equals 10 A. A will be 15 meters per second squared. How fast is it moving after five seconds? B final equals B initial plus AT. B final equals zero. 15 times five, which is 75 meters per second. Finally, how far? Delta X equals VIT plus one half AT squared. VI is zero, T is five, one half, 15 times five squared. You get a distance of 187.5 meters. So that wraps up our example problems. This is a lot of different examples of types of problems we can do with Newton's first and second law.